Morning. Uh, the storm Katie has, uh, is abating down the southeast now, but it's uh, left a trail of inconvenience, as I say. Uh, right, I've got the other half of the sheet that I, I chopped up yesterday. This is uh, 11 inches by seven and a half inches. My usual palette. I'm just I'm just going to do a, a, a rocky, not rocky, a, a, a mountainous lake scene. Something I hope is going to be simple before I get back to some acrylic. I'm a cup of tea. So I'll uh, wet the paper here and there. Just leave some some bits of sparkle by just leaving some un, un watered bits and pieces. So I will put a bit of, uh, I like to hold my palette so I'm, I know you like to see what I mix but, I, but I've got to make it easier for myself. Right okay so we'll put a bit of, bit of sienna and a bit of red I think. Nice bit of warm. And a bit of alizarin. I think with these sort of skies, don't over fuss. Bit of blue now, bit of blue, bit of alizarin. Just takes the Reckitt's blue look out of the ultramarine. I'm still losing lots of hairs from this fake. But it's, it's behaving itself this one apart from that. So let's put in some In the water, if, we, if that's where the water is going to go. I, I love doing these. If they work, they they look quite spectacular, but they don't all work. Right, that'll do for that. Now we'll put a bit of light red in with that blue, and we can put a bit of bit of cloud. Okay, that's it. That's quite a nice, nice looking little, little sky. All right, clean my brush. I've given up calling the calling these paintings simple because they might be simple for me, but they're not simple. It takes a long, long time to to, to even do do this. Well, it's taken me year, years. It took a long time when I started watercolors. Oh, back in my 20s and I just couldn't do it. I ruined loads of good paper. I was working for the Roland Hilda instruction books and then Ron Ransom came along and I, I, I joined an art group by then which is what you should do if you're a, 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 a basic painter because if you belong to a good group they can afford to employ demonstrators every so often to show and infuse you in, in, in the techniques of, of painting, watercolour painting, or any sort of painting comes to that. Uh, I, I, want to, that I, I want to just bring that down a little bit. So let's uh, just uh, put a bit more of that shadowy, ready colour under there, I think. Okay. I don't, I'm not sure if I want a large horizon. I, I love skies, as you know. But it took me a long, long time to be able to do anything decent. But Ron Ransom came along and with his wet in wet watercolour. And it, it just changed, just changed it. It was this, this brush and the wet in wet. But I'm using the brush on this lovely watercolour paper that was provided by David Dickinson very kindly. Um, and I'm... I, I like the effect. I can't do this with the Fabriano. It goes cauliflowery too quickly, or you know, before those hard edge, edge oases. But working on quality paper like this, you, I can wet a bit, put a bit of colour in, leave a bit of sparkle here and there, and, and it, it's very well behaved. So I'll give that a bit of a dry, so I can get on with it.
but it wouldn't be fair to say it's easy because I didn't find it easy. All I would say to you is, is if you can't do it, don't quit. I didn't quit. It's not uh, okay. A, a, a natural ability has got something to do with it, but it's mostly hard work. If you don't practice it, you'll never get anywhere. However good you might innately be. Right. Okay. Let's have a bit of blue and a bit of red. But more on the blue side. A bit of glycerin in there as well. And we'll put in a bit of a. Bit of a rocky mountain -y, Lake District type of scene, a bit more of this one. Vary the colours, otherwise you will end up with monotony. Uh, the, the amount I've got is going to cut a lot of that off, so I don't want to make it too, worry too much about these side margins. Now, I have a habit of going up on the right hand side. Right, let's put in some some darker colour now. A bit of red. I'll use the red and, and the ultramarine, I think. So we can put in some hard. To get, when you're painting on, on wet, wet paint, you need thick, thick paint. Let's add a little bit of a bit of something going on in the background there. Just a little bit of a uh, bit of interest in this. I'm just putting a bit of burnt sienna in there now, just to show something going on in that distance there. Just using uh, my burnt sienna in this. That's quite nice. We can use a bit of yellow, a yellow, uh, bit of um, bit of uh, raw sienna. I was going to say yellow ochre, but I only use yellow ochre with acrylic and oil. Right, that should bleed in. Now let's put it. I'm going to put a beach in, but I, I'm going to bring the trees on, uh, like a, not an island so much, but. The, uh, Bit of blue in with the both sienna, just to give that nice shadow or the wet rocky stuff here. You can put a bit of glue in there. Keep these little bits different. Avoid repeating yourself, it's very easy to do. Okay, now we can put a little bit. A 
No, I'm not, I'm only making this up. I'm, I'm just doodling with the brush. Just put a bit of an island in there. Or a bit of this, but further back. Now I'm trying not to repeat myself, but I'm repeating myself. It's a sort of a psychological thing, really. You think it looks a bit, a bit okay, and then you you think, oh, I'll do it somewhere else. But because you're just creating a symmetry, which is boring. Now I want that much darker there now. Yeah. Under that, okay. Just a bit of hard in, in this, just pebble. We can put a bit of pebbles in there, a bit of lifting out, I think. Get my card. Let's just let's take a little bit of that out. It does lift it. You have to get it right though. Just a little bit of rocky stuff here. Okay, I'm going to dry that now, so that I can just carry on and, and paint up into some detail in the foreground. I know I do a lot of this type of painting. I think I, I split between this, uh, the Mission Island, gentle trees in the distance, over 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 a lake, uh, rocky streams. But then, hey, you like them? I like doing them. Um, they all end up differently. We've got a nice, gentle sky. It looks like it's dropping a bit of rain there, which is fine. Got a bit of mist over that mountain there. I saw the rain coming in. I like putting bushes in, in these sort of things, but I don't want to go up too high there to clash with the dark that I put in there. So we'll uh, Bit of burnt sienna, my favourite colour, a bit of blue, to make it a bit darker. Don't want too moist. And we'll just put that in there, just... I'm listening to LBC, my, my default radio station. It's London Broadcasting Company been listening to it for over 40 years. It's, it's current affairs and they're talking about uh, Donald Trump and Storm Katie that's gone, gone across. And, and now LBC has gone nationwide. Everybody can listen to it. He likes politics. And, yeah. I think I could afford to go up there with a, a bit of Bit of autumn colours. Just there and a bit there. And I'll have a trunk sticking out. 
I'll wait for that to dry a little bit. We'll go for the other side now and do something similar there. See symmetry. It's hard to hard to avoid, isn't it? But we'll make this quite heavy in there. So it would be different to the one there. This would be, let's have this much bigger. Bob well, Ranson did lovely things like this. Do you want to cover that bit of background up there? Okay, now we can put in some nice rigor work in that. So I'm going to just dry them off. So if you're going to do this, make sure that one is larger than the other. This 200 pound Saunders stays very flat, or yeah, flat. It's it's great stuff. So let's uh, let's go in. Oh, before I do, let's just dry brush a bit of bit of sparkle across the across here. That'll do, that'll do. I'm going to bring that reflection down into, into that. Do that while I think of it. There won't be any reflection there. <coughs> All right, okay, let's get the rig up. You can use ultramarine, um, burnt sienna, or a bit of Payne's grey, whatever you fancy. So let's just bring need quite a bit of water because the rigger doesn't hold a lot. Leave gaps in your branches to show that some of the leaves are in the front. Just some little bits. I do not don't overdo it. Put a bit of stunted sort of tree trees. Let's just lose the base of it, otherwise it looks like it's floating. Okay, same the other side. Oh, drop me wake up. Hold on. Flew out of my hand.
Okay, let's uh, put in a couple of birds. And the birds link link this land to the sky and we'll sign it and we'll uh, we sign it oh, sign in here sign in here okay that, that's it that's a uh, a simple scene, let's say that, an uncomplicated scene. Practice these things, practice different things with your your paints and your brush, your brushes. Just keep at it, copy what I do. Let's, uh, I'll, show, I'll bring the camera down a sec. I just want to get this in the right sort of... Okay, that do. So there we are, we've, we've got another Another lake scene. Uh, just trying to bring this camera around so that's level. Right, that's not bad. Okay, so there we are. The the elements are there. The land, sea, and sky. <coughs> Number two. Um, I've, we've got two trees in the foreground, framing the picture, keeping the you're in the centre. We could, in fact, we will. Um, I'll put a couple of little boats in there. I'll use some acrylic I think. Just to put a couple of yacht, yachts in, yacht sails. Sorry. A uh, bit, of, bit of water. There, that's, that's all you need. It's now not a watercolour, it's mixed media. But if I'd lifted it, if I'd, take it, if I'd lifted it out, then that would have still been a watercolour. But it is a watercolour as far as I'm concerned. But technically, or pedantically, it's not. So I've done two trees, but I've made one much larger than the other, so that they don't compete. You don't want competing areas, you want it like, like a, a harmonious whole. Easier said than done, I know, but but work at these sort of things. Just sit down with the brush, don't copy anything. We've well, worked on my stuff, work on Alan Owens or Stephen Cronin's. <coughs> copy, copy, copy. That's how that's how we all learned. Copy the masters. Well, I'm not saying I'm a master, but copy those that have got the information that you need and the skills to do it through all the practice. Um, Try different papers. Use whatever you're comfortable with. I demonstrate the hate because I love it, and I, and it, it did make a real breakthrough for me. But it does take a while to get used to. It splits. The hairs come out eventually because they're only cheap brushes, but they do wonderful things. Anyway, enough for me. Thanks for watching. Happy painting. Bye for now.